Just so good. Shout out to my man, Corey. Corey up in Memphis, man. I love this groove he showed me, man, when I went down there a while back. Love this groove, and I just wanted to put it on her. I always, you know, I like to share everything I learn. But uh, it went like this. Let's just listen at it right quick. You know? Real smooth. To practice your runs with, you know? Now what I heard, what I heard out of that, it just went like this. So what we doing, of course, G flat major seven, G flat B flat, D D flat, F, and another A flat. So the bass line, E flat to the F sharp, to the B, to the B flat. And he turned around with the B flat, D flat, back to the E flat. And again, bass line, E flat to the G flat, or F sharp, B to the B flat. So that's all it's doing, it never changes. And it's just something you can do to practice your runs with. Like I say, the first chord, we got the G flat major seven. Now when we go to the G flat on the bass, take your right hand, you got an F, A flat, B flat, D flat, E flat. Then when you go to B, when you're on the B in your bass, take your right hand, we got a G flat, A flat, D flat, E flat. And when you're on the B flat, you ought to know that one by now. That's a D. G flat, A flat, D flat. So you put that together. And then you hear this. That's a little wrong. That's an A flat to the B flat B. Then D flat, E flat. Gonna go to F to the F sharp, then A flat back to the F sharp to the F, E flat, D flat. I'm sorry, so that's what that is from D flat back to the E flat. So let's do that real slow. That's a nice little run to practice with. So that's all the whole thing doing. Do the run right here.
that's how he did that. We shout out to you, Corey. Keep them coming, baby. Keep them coming.